Welcome, Welcome to Harvest, Harvest Kids. Kids! Hey, you know, I was thinking, and I have a question. Who made up all the rules we follow about food? Like, for example, you can't eat chicken nuggets for breakfast? Oh, I don't know. I mean, what about, like, you can't eat cookies as your main meal for dinner? Yeah, but you could totally eat waffles for breakfast, which are all sugary. <laughs> and yeah. who said that you can't have dessert before dinner? Ah, my mom did. Oh. Well, you know what? All of this reminds me of a Bible story where God tells the people what they can and can't eat. And God didn't just meet the food in front of us. What he meant was something much greater than the food. And we're going to learn about that today. And that's not all we're going to do. We're going to play a game. We're going to make a yummy snack, speaking of food. We are going to learn that Bible story, have some fun, and we're going to worship. And that's what we're going to do right now. So stand up wherever you're at. Stand up and let's get worshiping God now.
Hi kids, welcome to another Focus Up moment. This is where we take time out of our service to focus on God through singing and worship. And today we're gonna to sing a song called So Will I. And if you need to move to a different part of the room or dim the lights a little bit so you can focus better, you can do that now. But let's sing this song together. God of creation there at the start, before the beginning of time. With no point of reference, we spoke to the dark, fleshed out the wonder of light. And as you speak, hundred billion galaxies are born in the vapor of your breath the planets form if the stars were made to worship so will I I can see your heart in everything you've made Every burning star, a signal fire of grace. If creation sings your praises, so will I. Let's sing that again. God of creation, there at the start, before the beginning of point of reference you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of light and as you speak a hundred billion galaxies are born in the vapor of your breath the planets fall The stars were made to worship, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you've made. Every burning star, a signal fire of grace. If creation sings your praises, so will I. Thanks for joining me today in our Focus Up moment. That's all for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, kids. Welcome to our game today. It's called This or That. We are going to show you a picture of two items, and you need to move to the side of the room of the option you choose. But these aren't normal combinations, Adam. They're not? No, they're gross. Oh, I like gross. Oh, OK. So let's get started with our first slide now. This is onion ice cream. Oh, that is yogurt with fish. What is, what kind of fish? I don't know, make your choice now. I don't wanna. I'm going yogurt uh, with fish. You I'll coming with me? Yeah, I'll stay. All right. We choose yogurt with fish. Which one did you choose? Gross. Okay, let's reset. This is it like goldfish? All right, this or that number two. This is pea soup. That is shrimp soda? Ew! I actually love shrimp. Make your soup. choice. I'm gonna go to pea soup I as love well. Pea soup. Pea soup's great. All right. Did you kids pick shrimp soda? That would be gross. I've had it before. Okay, let's get to this or that number three. This is asparagus cookies. Mm, and that is garlic pudding. Make your choice now. <laughs> I'm gonna do asparagus cookies. Uh, me too. Wow, Ugh. so far it's Yummy. pretty obvious what we're choosing. All right, let's get our next this or that up now. This is a carrot donut. Oh, that is mushroom bread? Neither of these sound that bad. All right, well, let's make our choice. I'm gonna stick with mushroom bread. Me too, That's mushroom good. bread's a way to go. Yeah. It's just one step away from pizza. Do we get to try all these at the end? <laughs> no, thank you. All right, the next this or that is, this is a pickle burrito. 
<laughs> that is mustard nachos. Mustard nachos sound delicious. Uh, I like pickles, so I'm going this way. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Mustard nachos for the win. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get our next this or that. This is Brussels fries. Or that is kale cake. Oh no. What kind of frosting goes on kale cake? I think I'm going Brussels fries. I'm going Brussels fries. I like Brussels sprouts. Do you guys like Brussels sprouts? It's my new song, Brussels fries. What did you guys pick? This is the last one. Oh man. This is hot sauce lemonade. That is banana marinara. Ew. With penne or spaghetti? It's probably better than the other choice. Which I'm, one? I'm a hot sauce lemonade. I'm feeling it. Okay, that. you go over yeah, there then. I'm going this way. It sounds delightful. I'm getting banana marinara. Banana marinara is what I want to eat. Banana marinara when I'm in the heat and it's really hot and really gross and eat it all up or have some toast. I don't know. Hot sauce lemonade, that is my fave. Hot sauce lemonade, it's all the rave. Ow. You get the lemonade and you put it with the sauce. You get the lemonade and you drink it like a boss. <laughs> well, thanks for, uh, that was good. Thanks Thank for playing you. our game today. This or that. Woo. We hope you never have to try any of these combinations, but I'm, we'll see you next time. I'm gonna make them all at home. Okay, yeah. you do that. I'm not coming over. Bye. Hey, my name is Adam, and it's time for Unboxing the Bible. What is Unboxing the Bible, you ask? Well, it's like when you get a gift and you can't wait to see what's inside. God's Word, the Bible, is a gift to us, and we should be excited to find out what's inside. So, let's find out what's inside. Wow, this is a lot of letters. Are you ready for it? A, C, C, E, do you know what it is? There's still a lot of letters left. E, T, and S. Accepts. There's a Bible verse that goes with this. In every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. Acts 10, 35. Let's say that once more. In every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. Acts 10, 35. Hey, we're gonna learn more about this Bible verse in today's lesson, so let's listen. Hey boys and girls, welcome to our Bible story today. We're in the book of Acts, chapter 10. Now we're gonna talk about a vision or a dream. Have you ever had dreams? Another question, have your parents ever said, you can't wear that, that shirt is dirty? Or those pants are dirty, they are unclean. My parents used to tell me that all the time, don't wear that shirt. Now, have your parents ever told you, don't eat that, that's unclean? Not really, unless you dropped your sandwich on the floor, that doesn't usually happen. Well, here in the Bible times, there were some church leaders that would call some animals clean to eat and some animals unclean. And the people that ate the clean animals were seen by the church as the clean people. And then the people that ate other animals not on that list were unclean people. And so they would divide people like that. And there was a man named Cornelius who had a dream. And God told him to go find a man named Peter. So he goes and finds Peter, and Peter also had a vision. And Peter's vision was funny. What he saw was a white sheet coming down from heaven filled with all kinds of animals. That's a funny dream. Birds, reptiles, animals. And God told Peter, it's not about the food that you eat. It's about following Jesus. During that time, we know that people were separated in religions by what kind of food that you ate. And what God was telling Peter is it's not about the food that you eat, it's about knowing Jesus. And so Peter was able to teach a lot of people about what God says about how we're all the same. And we shouldn't be divided into groups of people who eat clean food or unclean food. It does not matter to God. God only sees us as sinners in need of a savior. In Jesus, there is no clean or unclean animals. In Jesus, there are no clean or unclean people. We are all sinners and we need a savior. I hope you learned something today in our funny story about Peter's vision of a sheet coming from heaven filled with all kinds of animals. But the main point is we all need Jesus. Wouldn't you agree with me? 
Well, let's pray and thank God for his word to us. Dear God, thank you so much for this lesson that we all need you, Jesus. And it's not about what kind of food we eat or where we live. Lord, it's about you and what you did on the cross. And so I pray that you would help us to remember that we need you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, and thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey friend, Jackie here, and welcome to Snacky Time. I hope you're hungry because I have a very yummy, quick, very easy snack for us today. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a plate and put a couple of muffin liners on our plate. Ta -da! Then you're gonna get your favorite yogurt. I have a plain vanilla yogurt here, and we're gonna put a couple of spoonfuls of yogurt into each cup. And now I'm gonna take some cereal. Now you can use whatever cereal you want, whatever yogurt you want, and you're gonna layer the cereal on top of the yogurt. So today I have Fruity Pebbles. I'm gonna layer that on top, just a nice thin little layer. They smell so good. All right, look at that. So now I'm gonna put these in the freezer for like an hour, and when they're all done, they're gonna look like this. What? That is so cool. So you start to gently peel away your muffin liner and we're gonna take a bite and try our delicious frozen yogurt cereal treat. Mmm, look, that's so good and so easy. And you probably have all the stuff at home already to make it. Yum, this is so delicious. Well, I'm just gonna dig in here, but I hope you make this. And if you do, post a picture on Instagram and tag us at Harvest Kids Live. Ooh, I can't wait to eat more of this right now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, Jackie, oh. what's all this food for? You're just in time for lunch. I was so inspired by all the food things we were talking about. I just thought I would make us lunch. Lunch? Well, this is kind of a strange looking lunch. Oh, you mean because we're having chicken nuggets, ice cream, waffles, and chips, and cereal, and cookies? Yeah, it's very, uh, variety. In honor of our <laughs> lesson today. Yeah. Oh, right, <laughs> different kinds of animals. Well. Boys and girls, of course, what we learned today was no matter what people put in their bodies, we all need Jesus. And we are all called clean, not because of our own works, but because of Jesus. And so it's not about eating the right types of foods or any good works like that. It's about Jesus. And I'm so glad that we could learn that lesson today. Now, I do have to add that it does matter what you put in your body as far as health goes. If you just eat cookies and ice cream and waffles every single day, you might not feel the best after a little while. Only cookies is bad for your diet, and so. What about cookie salad? Uh, cookie salad, well, how about just salad salad? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today at Harvest Kids. If you wanna see more services, you can find us on YouTube and Instagram, at Harvest Kids Live, and we have more in store for you next time. See you guys later. Bye bye. Can I eat all this though? Only a little bit. You already made your point. It's not healthy. Okay. Just half of everything.